Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here. Today, we are here with the 2014 FIFA World Cup Brazil game. Now, we're going to do Eritrea today. The reason being is because in December, I decided that I'd like to do a few reruns and a few nations that we've already done that were very popular during the two years I've been doing this. Two years, I mean, <laughs> two years playing the same three games. Eritrea was a run I did probably about a year and a half ago, maybe um, only a year ago, and it was a terrible run. I couldn't do anything, I barely did anything good in that run, I got smashed by most of the teams in there, and I went out, I was raging, and um, it was popular, probably because of that, but I want to do it again and try and do this nation justice. And I think in December I'm going to try and do some special runs like this sort of thing. Reruns and maybe we'll see like a North Korea playthrough on this one. Like a qualification or San Marino qualification. You know those types of nations for December because they're very um, clickable if you want to um, use that term. So hopefully this will be a better video than the one we did a year ago, as in like, maybe not for views, but just like, uh, better in terms of like, the run, sort of thing. Maybe we can get Eritrea to the round of 16, that's probably the main goal. So we've already got a group, Group D, it's um, Peru Republic, St Kitts and Nevis, and England. I don't like the sound of that, I am gonna shuffle it and see if I can get a better group in three, two, one, boom. Where am I? I'm in a group with, oh my god, are you kidding me? I've got San Marino, which is a decent matchup for Eritrea. Definitely a different ma de decent matchup, sorry. And then we've got Mexico. It's like, what? And then we've got Wales. Wales are a three-star team on this game, maybe like three and a half. Um, if I defend well, then yeah. Mexico, on the other hand, absolutely not. These are the players we have for Eritrea. 54 rated players, there's a 49 rated player there as well. I wonder who's the lowest rated player on the squad. Uh, we've got 45 there, a striker, 45 rated striker. A 40 rated right back, that's uh, pretty mental. And a 41 rated um, uh, centre attacking midfielder as well. Our first match of this run is against Wales, so a bit of a, a tricky situation really for me because the first match against Wales, I was kind of hoping for San Marino. Um, Wales, of course, they are a brilliant team in Europe, but on the game, they're rated uh, sort of three and a half stars, and that to me says in my mind that I could take them. The problem is that Eritrea, it depends what type of Eritrea I want to show up because in the first game, uh, of the World Cup, you don't get any training beforehand, so you just get basic Eritrea. You can't actually put the stats up before the game, which is a, a massive shame. Here we go then, Eritrea versus Wales. The start of our December stuff, our fun little runs, I guess, and our reruns and stuff. I know what you're probably all thinking, like, oh, you're just rehashing content. It's like, yes, essentially, I am. Wales and Eritrea never played each other before, I'm fairly sure. Their main threat is going to be Gareth Bell, and arguably Gareth Bell could probably just walk past some of these players. I think the San Marino match is definitely going to be the biggest match of the whole group, even if I don't get out of the group, because that'll be such an interesting game. I'm hoping that the, both teams are as bad as each other, and we get like a 5-5 draw or something like that. Seem to be passing the ball around quite well. Remember, most of these runs, well actually all of these 2014 runs now, are done on world class difficulty, so with Eritrea, that's a massive difficulty spike for me. Already f almost 30 minutes into the game, and um, we haven't conceded yet, and um, we've actually been quite lively. Tackling's a little bit of an issue with some of these players. Well, half-time, and Wales are wondering what's going wrong at the moment. They can't seem to utilise Gareth Bale and the rest of the players against this really, really resilient uh, Eritrea side. But to be fair, Wales haven't had many chances, and neither have I, to be fair. That's literally been the highlight of the game, that corner, at the moment. <laughs> Zero shots on target for both teams has been a very dull game, but I'm sure Eritrea, in real life, if they were drawing against Wales in, like, the first half, 
would be absolutely delighted. Tulahan, okay, good ball. Come on, Alexander. Come on, you're through. Let's go. Oh, Welsh goalkeeper saves it with his leg. And a rare chance for Eritrea goes begging. Gareth Bell with the free kick. He launches it into the box. It's punched away. Going to turn Eritrea into the new Barcelona. Not Barcelona these days, because Barcelona these days are rubbish. But the old Barcelona. Crossed in. That's a very, very decent... Oh, my God. That was a really worked, well-worked corner. A really well-worked corner. I've never seen the AI play it in like that. I mean, the Eritrean fans look like they're giving Welsh fans a bit of stick. But look at that. That was actually a really, really good goal. Like, the defending on it wasn't brilliant, but it took Wales 70 minutes against us to produce something like that. And that, to be fair, that strike is just unstoppable. Something like that, when the computer does something like that, is pretty much unstoppable. All my players are tired. I don't think I'm actually going to get forward again in this match. Wales just going to knock the ball around and just exhaust the game out. Uh, we just haven't played well enough in this one. I mean, Wales snatched it away from us, really. I mean, Wales, up until that goal, played really poor. They were very poor. Like, they just couldn't get going and stuff. Remember, as Eritrea played way better defensively, maybe not attacking-wise, but smaller teams like Eritrea tend to do that. They shouldn't be that down on themselves really it was a very very good result and um, there's no reason for me to get angry about that one even the Eritrea fans were just you know that they, they seem happy in the crowd so I'm pretty happy for them as well um Mexico just drew against San Marino what it was a 1-1 draw so maybe San Marino are probably more deadly than it turns out well if Mexico are drawing against San Marino surely Mexico's form is literally like underwater right now like so far down like in the depths of the ocean that you just never see it ever again the next match we got is against san marino so i'm doing a pace drill to al payson i do reckon that international teams when they see they have san marino on the like the fixture list do you think that even though they have training do you reckon they take it seriously because honestly like they they are amateurs at best, so it's like there's no point in training. Surely, I'm sure that like when England beat them ten nil, they didn't do any training for that game because they just knew that they were going to beat them. This is the one that you've all been waiting for. It's Eritrea versus San Marino, one of the biggest games in the world. So I'm hoping I can score in this game. If I don't, then it'll be a colossal failure for Eritrea not to score against San Marino. Both of these teams are exactly the same team, probably the exact same rating and everything. This team needs to get it done against San Marino, even though San Marino drew against Mexico, which means that if San Marino win this match, they have a high chance of going through to the knockout rounds. <laughs> He's running. He's basically ran past all of them and it's blocked by San Marino. We have a corner. So more attacking play than we did in the Wales game. I'm going to shoot from outside the box and that was a horrendous shot. Oh, wow. San Marino just played that kind of ball and uh, they almost scored from it. Tackled by San Marino. We got it back though and we get stuck on the player. Don't you just hate that, like, when you've got a good attack going and the game's physics on this game just absolutely screw you over? Go for the shot, and it's saved by San Marino keeper, and the header wasn't very good either. San Marino just don't really want to attack. Like, they just had one attack, and they're like, yeah, we'll settle for that. Well, this match has kind of fallen flat. It is nil-nil. We've had a couple of shots and easily saved by the San Marino keeper. But, yeah, no, nothing too exciting so far. I don't know how that player, Rinaldi, like, basically just keeps the ball. He's done it, like, three times there. Like, can we just please tackle him? Like, he's still got, got the ball. It's absolutely crazy. And another one. This game's tackling system is, like, literally the worst in the world. Oh, my God. Like, this match is just absolutely dead at the moment. It's actually dead. I thought it would be a really cool match, but it's not. Oh my god, that is just dreadful. I went for the finesse shot, and he didn't do it first time, so it did like a replacement shot sort of thing. And, um, well, yeah, you know the result. It just went into the keeper's hands. Look at this. San Marino, like, they're just not giving me any, like, chances on the ball. 
This is one of the worst international matches you could probably ever put. I don't know what to call that. That is one of the worst international matches I've ever had to play. It actually is. I don't understand how we did not score against San Marino, a team that is on the same level as Eritrea. Possibly slightly even worse. But, oh my god. God, that game was just defend, 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 defend. Because I knew San Marino were going to do that, but I was attacking constantly. And yet they still managed to put in a defensive masterclass against me. So look at this group stage right now. Look, you've got Mexico on top with four points. I have to beat them to get anywhere near that second spot. Wales have got San Marino. Um, there's no way that I'm going through. No way. Mexico are going to absolutely destroy me. There's almost no point doing training with this team because I'm going to get knocked out regardless of what happens. Eritrea need a miracle. They really, really need a miracle to get out of this group stage. It's not going to happen, but I'm kind of in the mindset that I got to play for pride at least. So yeah, I mean, I know Mexico are going to beat me. It's just a matter of keeping the goal tally down by, I don't know, let's say 2 or 3 nil is the buffer zone. Anything over that, and then it's going to start getting a little bit annoying. Mexico, that was a really, really good ball. And oh, I thought they just scored a banger against me. But it turns out it just went right at the post. That would have been a really, really good goal. San Marino just scored against Wales. Like, what is going on with that San Marino team? Is it like their golden generation or something? Oh, look at this movement by Eritrea. It's lovely movement, but unfortunately, it gets cleared. Mexico pressing on that wing. They cross it in and dealt with by the keeper quite nicely. Again, we're 30 minutes into the game, and Eritrea have done well to keep it at this scoreline. Mexico might have given me a gift. No, to scratch that, my player is not fast enough. It's a good ball. That better not be offside. I'm just going to have a go, and that was our first real shot of the whole tournament. I'm not even joking. It almost feels like San Marino are trying to do me a favour and I'm just not taking my chance. Half time and we're drawing against Mexico, which is brilliant. Very, very good result at the moment for Eritrea. Even if we go out, it's still a decent result. There we go. That's a good tackle. Come on, keep running. San Marino are 2-0 up against Wales. What is going on in this World Cup, honestly? Oh, uh, why? Not to him. I mean, I scored unofficially, but still. Like, I didn't want it to him. I wanted it in the middle. Pass it into the box. They cross it in, and it's a goal. Just as simple as that. Eritrea, unlucky, really, because it's just that one chance. And because my defenders are rated so low, they can't deal with aerial threats or any threat, to be honest. It takes about five attempts to tackle with the same player to actually get the ball off of them and Mexico take the lead. Oh my god, like, <sighs> they're going to score that 100%? Okay, Peralta missed an absolute sitter. Anybody else would have scored that. That's a good ball. That's a really good ball. Oh my god, you missed a sitter. Oh, we could have brought it back to 1-1. We could have done. That was like a golden chance for Eritrea and they bottled it. I've done this run twice with Eritrea and I've failed two times. What does that show you? Not that I'm crap either. Don't say I'm rubbish. No, it's because Eritrea are just not, they're just too low ranked and the group stage as well didn't really help me out. I mean, that chance there was an absolute sitter. We should have at Buried that one. So San Marino beat Wales 2-1. So San Marino, I'm fairly sure, actually went through off of that result. Let's just double check it. Yes, they did. So Mexico and San Marino got out of that group. Let's simulate the rest of the tournament then. Let's see who is going to win. I'm seeing big sides already. Colombia won against France in the final. So that was your run with Eritrea. I hope you enjoyed it, despite the fact that I didn't do anything on the offensive side, apart from a few chances that I missed. Um, my rerun of Eritrea, kind of a failure, but if you did like it, then give it a like and subscribe. We've got more runs on the way to December, kind of like this, but hopefully with more goals. Keep it local as always, and I'll see you again for the next video.